So in this lesson, we're going to get a bit further into what Agile actually is. So this is really a bit of background as to kind of underpin what we've just experienced with playing the ballpoint game or conquer the numbers game. So the ballpoint game or the conquer the numbers game, if that's what you played, is an active realization of the approach we have in Agile methodologies. So Agile methods are essentially based on the approach developed by W. Edwards Deeming, who developed a business process in the 1950s to identify sources of variation that caused products to deviate from customer requirements. So this actually came from product manufacturing in actual fact. So he created something called the Deeming cycle, and this is a very simple visualization here. So you start by planning, and deciding what you're going to build and how you're going to do it. And then you actually do the task. So you execute the plan, create the product. Then you need to review and study the results of that product. So this is your quality checking and testing. And then you need to review to act and take action and improve the process. So how do you become more efficient in the next iteration? How do you improve the quality of the product? All of those aspects. But as your team works through the iterations, you should become more and more absorbed in the process. And as the team becomes more focused on the process, they start to experience something called flow. And flow comes from positive psychology. And it's essentially characterized by complete absorption in what one does and a resulting loss in one's sense of space and time. So you might be so absorbed in your tasks with your team that a building right outside your door could fall down and you wouldn't even notice. That is the level of focus that you, that is the level of focus that you should have achieved. But what is Agile? Well, Agile is essentially a conceptual approach to project and product delivery. So it's not actually a method in itself. And that's something that often people confuse. So Agile methods are used to deliver products. So Agile methodologies like Scrum, like Kanban, for example. So Agile is essentially an iterative team-based approach to development. So what is Scrum? Well, Scrum as a term was originally coined in the Harvard Business Review article by Hirotaka Takeuchi and Ikujiro Nonaka in 1986 and comes from manufacturing. In the 1990s, it was taken up by software development leaders Ken Schwaber and Jeff Sutherland and the Scrum methodology was born. Ken Schwaber has done the most to formalise the method and is also the author of the methodology Kanban. So the key terms to cement in your mind for this course or for today <laughs> is iterative. So iterative means something that repeats itself in a sequence. And that's something I mentioned through the games if you have played and participated with those. Time box. Now this is another term I mentioned in, the, in some of the games as well. So this is something that is strictly limited in time. And that's what we mean by a time box. And then finally, a sprint. Well, we, what we mean by a sprint is a set period of time when tasks must be completed. So that really, in summary, is what Agile actually is and how Scrum is strictly termed. And start to investigate the different roles, the structure, how some of those meetings and details are actually approached and managed. So I'll give you a couple of minutes to grab a coffee and take a break and I'll see you in the next lesson.